Good day folks, my name is Sean and this is Air Photography. Today I've got a quick tip for you if you're going to be reversing large media files in LumaFusion. Reversing large media files in LumaFusion can be very time consuming. So with this little trick I'm going to show you here, it's going to save you a lot of time if you have a lot of media files to reverse. Let's go ahead here. We're going to create a new project. So I'm going to use this video file here. We'll drag it down into our timeline. So this video file here is 4 minutes and 50 seconds and it's probably 3 or 4 gigabytes in file size. Now as we go through it here, we may not want the full 4 minute clip. We just might want a small section of that. Maybe you perhaps are making an edit or putting a bunch of different clips together and we just want maybe a 10 second clip. So we're going to cut it down here. So let's uh, put a cut there. We'll get rid of that front part. And uh, we'll go in about 10 seconds, right there, make another cut, and we'll get rid of that back end. So now we've got our 10 second clip. But say it looks good, but we want it in reverse. We want to be flying away from those wind turbines. That's easily done in LumaFusion. We just double tap it. Let's go to our speed tool. And you can see here we have a button called reverse. Now the problem is, is when LumaFusion reverses media, it does the whole clip. Even though we just took out a 10 second clip there, it's got to reverse that whole four minute clip and make a new file. And that's where it gets very time consuming. So let's uh, do a quick time test here, uh, the traditional way and then the way I'll show you. So we'll hit reverse. You can see there it's starting. So I'm going to hit the start on the stopwatch there, or my iPhone anyways. And uh, it even gives you a warning there that it could take quite a bit of time. So we'll just go ahead there and we will let it do its thing. So you can see here we're just coming up to the end and we're already over 10 minutes. It looks like it'll be about 10 and a half minutes in order to reverse that whole clip. Yeah, so there we go there. We reversed the clip and it was 10 minutes and 37 seconds. So you can see that is very time consuming, especially if you have about 10 clips that you want to reverse for an edit. You could spend an hour or two just sitting around reversing your clips, which isn't very productive. But it works great. You know, you can see that the clip is now reversed and is exactly what we were looking for. But as mentioned, there is a much faster way to do this and more efficient. And not only is it faster, it uses a lot less space on your tablet. Because as mentioned, when we reverse this, it's reversing that whole clip, that 3 or 4 gigabyte clip making a whole separate copy of it that's stored within the LumaFusion folder in the Files app. So again, a lot of wasted space just for a 10 second clip. So let's go ahead and let's clear this. Let's drag that clip back down again here. So we've got our four minute clip there. So let's go, we'll trim it down to 10 seconds again. So there we go there, we have a 10 second clip. Now what we're gonna do here, instead of reversing the clip directly, we're gonna export this first. So let's go to export, go to movie, photos and uh, we want to make sure that we have the bitrate or video quality I should say at 150 you want the maximum quality available just because we're going to re-import it back in and uh, we're going to leave it at 4k so we'll go ahead and we'll export that and you can see there it's going to export it really quickly because it's a very small clip so there we go there let's go ahead and delete that now so we're back to a blank timeline. So we're going to go to our Photos app, and there is the 10 second clip that we just exported. Now if we play it here, it's playing forward the way it was recorded. But now that we have it as a 10 second clip, the clip that we're going to use for our edit, we can now go in and do the reverse. Just like that there. And uh, we'll hit Start. So there we go there, that video clip is now reversed, and it only took 24 seconds compared to over 10 minutes. And we can go in and play it back now. And as you can see there, it is fully reversed. So that is a much more efficient way to reverse clips. It's better to cut out the sections that you want reversed, export them as a file first, then do the reversing, instead of reversing the original file, as it will take a lot of time. Well, that's basically it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.